Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Tech It Out. I hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing good. Now, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and hit that bell so you get all notifications. Now, what are we doing here? We are going to find out if an iPhone, this is the iPhone 12, can be hooked up to an external storage. Now, this is a WD passport. This is not an SSD. So, what you need here is this special dongle from Apple. It's pretty expensive. It costed me $49 Canadian. You might be able to find it cheaper online. So, I like getting the actual official product. I don't like using... Well, it depends which one it is, number one. But, yeah, for the most part, get the official cables. That'll help out. So you want the USB to three. Now this one comes with a USB A so you can plug in your USB and then with a lightning so you can give it power. Now, what I tried was, so we'll talk about this in a second. So what I tried was plugging this in, the hard drive. So let me just plug it in real quick for, so I plugged this into this and then a lightning i gave it extra power with a lightning that's plugged into a wall socket and i plugged it into the phone but it's charging is this there you go files as you can see nothing pops up even with the extra power. Even with the extra power, nothing pops up. So I looked around online. Now, other things will work, like little flash drives, things like that. An SSD uh, will work if you plug in like an SSD reader into it. That'll work. But as you can see, I don't know if you guys can tell, the light keeps turning on and off. If you can see turns on and then it turns off so there's not enough power going to the hard drive so I looked online and the only thing I could find was one person but he was doing it with an iPad now I haven't even tried this out yet to see if it works I'm doing this for the first time with you guys and what they used was a powered USB hub so this has its own power adapter plugged in to a socket and it comes with USB-A and then powered ports. So let's see if this gives this thing enough power to turn on on the iPhone. Let's try it out, shall we? So let me make sure that's plugged in, that's plugged in. So you wanna take the hard drive out of here. You wanna plug it into here. Now, if I plug this into here, and this just turns on and the light stays on, that's a good thing right off the bat. So let's try it out. The light is on. I can tell you that right now, it is on. Let's see if it turns off. So far it's staying solid. It's staying solid as you can see, it's on. It hasn't turned off. So that's a good sign now. Let's plug this in, shall we? This is the moment of truth, folks. It's plugged in. There you go. It popped up. You see it right there, guys? My passport. So, as you can see, these are the two files I had saved on it. As you can see, it does work. So, that's two terabytes now. I can use as external storage, say whatever the hell I want on it, videos, because the 4K videos is no joke, man. It does take up a lot of space. So that's what you guys need for it to work, a powered hub USB. And then you'll be able to pretty much use any external hard drive you want. Now, I'm pretty sure the SSD ones work without a powered source, but you never know, maybe other ones will need it, some will, some won't, you never know. But 
I am so happy to see that this is working, guys. You have no idea how much joy this brings to me because I have a computer, but why use the computer when I don't have to? You get what I'm trying to say? So instead of transferring it onto my computer and plugging it in and then transferring it onto the hard drive, I can just plug my phone directly in now and back up all my photos and videos and whatever else I want to back up. So it works, guys. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Remember, you're going to need an Apple Lightning to USB 3 camera adapter. The one that lets... Oh, now, it's on, and I have the Lightning plugged into it still. So let me see if I unplug the Lightning, if it stays on or if it doesn't. Hold on a sec. I unplug the Lightning. Yeah, it stays on, so you don't even need the Lightning. You could use one of those older dongles that doesn't have the Lightning port, but I recommend getting the one with the Lightning port just so you can give it the extra power if it needs it. And like I said, you need this USB hub. Now, this is the Atola USB 3.0 hub. I got this for around $32 Canadian on Amazon. You can find it there. There is a 10 deck one too that's a bit more expensive, around the $48 mark. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you all for tuning in. Let me know what you guys think. So that solves it. If you want to use an external hard drive, a spinning hard drive, you know, you can even use a Seagate, uh, Western Digital. There's a ton, man, that you can use. So let's have at it and let's have fun. Guys, thank you all for joining me. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys use. And I will catch you guys all in the next video. Peace out. Have a wonderful day.